Hello and welcome to today's video. In today's video, we're going to be taking a quick look at these trees that uh, Quixel have released for Unreal Engine. Quixel, if you didn't know, they are the makers of Mega Scans, uh, and their kind of like goal mission is to scan the world. Uh, and one thing that's kind of eluded them so far has been trees, because trees are very difficult to photo scan because. Uh, unlike a rock, you can't just like walk around a tree taking pictures from all different angles because obviously trees are ridiculously tall. Uh, the foliage is a nightmare, you know, because the leaves block what's behind it. So how do you get a photo real tree? We had to create a system that could emulate how plant hormones would build up and how this would affect the tree's growth in order to reach the most light. Different hormones that would signal the trunk to split its branches to withstand stress from gravity and to evenly distribute its weight. Well, you can see in this footage that they uh, sort of painstakingly took trees, uh, took each individual element of a tree and photo scanned them, and then put them all back together in 3D to get a great looking uh, 3D tree. So, and to show off their first kind of batch of trees, they've released this Black Alder uh, Beta Tree Pack, which you can see here. This is the demo scene. Um, and just to show the kind of fidelity of these, if we, uh, you know, speed up a bit and then slow down, you go, you know, to to the leaf, the leaf level, and fly through. Go to sort of the the branches and the trunks, and you can just see how how amazingly detailed uh, they are. In this pack, there's a few different types, and obviously you could use these. Um, you know, rotate them, place them, dot them around. Uh, and this one tree from different angles, it's going to look uh, different, especially if they're all bunched together. So you know, you can get a, a lot of mileage out of just a few different variations of a tree. Um, and you can see there's different sizes here. And one of the exciting things about this is that uh, along with the trees, they've also um, done a lot of work on the actual foliage shader. So if I uh, come out of full screen here in Unreal Engine, and I, if I just go back to the content, now if I click this little, this little gizmo here, uh, what this does is when we rotate it, that's controlling the wind direction. You can see the little wind sock moving there, it's very cool. Um, but now I've got that selected, let's just go back over to the trees to kind of show show the main power of this off. So if we pick sort of these trees here, uh, make a bit more sort of screen, screen real estate. So you can see that on that, uh, the Blueprint Global Foliage Actor, uh, there's a few different things here. There's um, color variation, uh, wind, season, and health. So the wind, you know, self-explanatory. If we play with the wind strength, oh God. You know that's a that's a bit too <laughs> a bit too much um but you got the wind strength combined with the wind speed just to get some nice kind of you know swaying effects um but to me the really interesting thing is this the season strength so you can see a tree here it's kind of in a summer summer season it's nice and green if we get a bit of a close-up on some leaves here um, and as we change the season strength, that's going to actually change the color of the leaves. So this should really be clamped after a certain point, it doesn't do anything. Um, but if we, you know, scrub up as, as we increase through the seasons, it kind of goes a bit more autumnal back down to summer. You can change the season brightness as well, which kind of, you know, blows out and goes really weird. If you want some trees sort of, I guess, like along the critical path of uh, the game, you might want these to be a bit brighter than the others just to kind of draw the player in. Um, but you can do that and tune them. Um, depending on what post-processing effects you've got as well, it might darken some of the leaves. So there's a lot of uh, play in there. There's saturation, obviously, which uh, controls kind of how red the leaves are or how blue they are if you, if you want some uh, weird alien trees. Um, and there's also uh, health as well. So if we have a look back at some some of the trees, if we go here to these leaves, and if we play with the health, you'll see start to see as you bring the health down, the leaves kind of die. And you can kind of see this well if you do, um, you know, if you go to a healthy tree but all the leaves are dead, they get that kind of brown. You get that kind of brown, dead color, kind of just just tinting, tinting the edges. So I mean, there you have it. That's a very quick look at these new these new beta trees. Um, if you want to download and access these yourself, if you just head over to the uh, Unreal Engine Marketplace, you can do that 
in the Epic Games launcher. If you just search for Mega Scan Tree, uh, you can see that there's the uh, Mega Scan Trees European uh, Black Holder Beta Early Access. Uh, you can just you know download them. You have to purchase them for free, and then you can just add them to a project, and then you know use them in your scene, have a bit of a play around. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this very quick look at the uh, Mega Scan Trees. If you did, uh, it'd be great if you could hit the like button. If you want to discuss game dev and anything else game dev related, why not head over to the Discord, which is linked in the description below. Uh, we've got a little different channels here that you can join in on, um, from 3D art, different game engines, different 3D art programs. Yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.